Well, Charles, uh, give us an idea of, of what you think of your UFC career so far. I mean, sure, not the record that I'm sure you'd like, but you've been in some fantastic fights, a couple of bonuses, sum it up so far. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's not the record I want. Um, I feel like I've went out there and performed every time, though. I mean, every fight I've went out there, and, uh, you know, the way I fight is I go for the kill. I, I mean, I have that gladiator state of mind. I, I go into the cage and I go for the kill all the time. That's 100% pedal to the metal. Um, you know, some of my coaches get mad at me sometimes, like, why don't you stay on top and try to win the round? But that's not how I fight. I fight for the finish. So, you know, a couple of the fights, a couple of things I think I could have done to win them. But, like I said, I'm a fighter. I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm going for the kill. But as far as as far as my career, I mean, I'm happy. Uh, like I said, uh, I think I got a good matchup this week. So I think 2016 is going to be my year. Hopefully, go on a good run and uh, you know make a good name for myself and try to get the top ten. Fighting back in Boston, uh, I've traveled you around the world a little bit. You did pick up your win here. Is there something different about being here? Is that just the way it's worked out? What, yeah. what does it mean to be here? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, coming back to Boston, seeing the cool, crisp air. You know, seeing the familiar faces, people, places, things, being around everything. You know, I mean, uh, this is the city that made me who I am. He made me a fighter. So when I see all these things, you know, that's what goes into my heart. That's what makes me a fighter. So when I see all this, it brings back the memories, the good and the bad things. And, uh, you know, it gives me just fuel for the fire so I can go out there January 17th and, and compete. Hey, Charles, you talk about what do you have to say to all of the Boston fans at home that might not have been introduced to MMA yet? Um, definitely, I mean, do it. I mean, all you guys are tough. Everybody from Boston is born and bred tough, so you guys have the heart for it. You got fireworks coming? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Charles, put you on the spot. Who's your opponent on Sunday? Uh, Kyle Boschniak. Uh, I just actually signed the contract yesterday. Last minute replacement. You know, you can always depend on a tough Boston kid to step up last minute. Uh, my first fight, Jimmy Hedis, you know, was injured, got a knee injury. Second guy, Augusto Mendez. I mean, I think, you know, he signed the contract, thought twice about it, and didn't want to, you know, and, and didn't want to do it. And then, you know, you know, tough kid from Salty, Kyle Boschniak coming up. You know, the UFC newcomer stepped up to the plate. So I'm just happy I'm fighting. I would have fought anybody. I told him, I said, I'll fight anybody that, that you guys have for me. I just want to fight. I, I put in four months camp. And, uh, do so you think Mendez actually is not injured and, and no, second yeah. thoughts? Yeah, 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 I would say that. I mean, he signed the contract and then 12 hours later he backs out, so that's, that's what I think. But, you know, we'll see what, what was your reaction when you found out that you had a, a new, a third opponent? Um, I mean, I was just, you know, I, I was just hoping I was going to fight. I mean, like I said, it doesn't matter who they put across the cage for me. I'll fight anybody, anytime, anywhere. I'll do it in the parking lot. I don't care. This is, uh, you know, this is what I do. I'm a fighter, and uh, you know, especially coming back to my hometown, Boston, I didn't want to let all the people down that came down to see me. So I was just really happy they got a replacement. I was excited to fight Augusto Mendez, you know, being from Brazil, me being from USA, and you know, having that. But you know, I got to, you know, like I said, the tough kid Kyle set up to the fight. So I'm excited to fight him. You still want that Augusto fight? Now? Yeah, yeah, I would love that fight. I mean, I just, you know, feel like if you accept something and then you turn it down, it's like Indian giving. You give and you take it back. I mean. I, you know, I mean, I only spent like a full day prepping for him, but you know, he took one of my days away, and I want it back. So. And, and how much? Like, did you run in the same circles as Kyle? Did you know him because you're from the same? No, actually, town? I no, I didn't know him, but he came up in CES, uh, one of the promotions that helped build me um, up in Providence, Rhode Island. So, I mean, you know, I, I watched some of the videos of some of the people I know train with them. I actually, when I came back for Christmas, uh, I actually went and trained at a gym. He wasn't there. I, mean, I went and did jiu-jitsu with his team because uh, my cousin trains over there. But you know, it's, it's what it is. Is, but uh, you know, I mean, um, I'm just happy to step up to the plate. What's that around your neck, Charles? Uh, this is Chucky's fight. It's the organization. Uh, me and my dad started. I lost my two older brothers to a drug overdose. So, uh, Chucky'sFight.com. You guys can check out, donate. It's all for a good cause. Plus, that's funny because you, you know you talk about your coaches maybe not liking the chances you take. I wondered about with this matchup. You know, was there ever a point where they're like, dude, don't don't take a fight on days' notice. Like, just back out and let's 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 reset this thing. No, I mean, I mean, like, like obviously the. Coaches, you know, they look at the opponents and stuff like that, but but ultimately the decision's up to me. I mean, I'm the fighter, I'm the one who wants to do it, so they ask me if I'm okay with it. I mean, they like both the matchups, both the, both the replacements. Um, so, you know, I just put in, you know, he's in this, you know, my opponent's in the same position as me. He doesn't have a whole lot of time to get ready for it. I just put in a four month camp. So, like I said before, I was ready to step in the octagon against whoever is standing across from me. I would fight anybody, anybody. I would, I mean, I would fill in for the main event. I don't care whatever they wanted me to do. I wanted to fight.